All right, what is going on, everyone? It is Super here, and welcome to the start of hopefully something fun, something amazing, and something that's going to prepare me for the future of NetherRealm games. And today is going to be the first time that I ever play Injustice Gods Among Us. I literally just bought it to tonight, a couple hours ago. It took me like 10 minutes to install, edited some videos, and now I am ready to play. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to me playing a fighting game for the first time. You guys, uh, you know, who might not have been since the start of MKX, will see how I learned a fighting game. So let's get into it. I have actually not even booted up the game yet, and that looks sick as fuck. I do have to go to training mode to see how the sound is, the sound, you know, from the gameplay to my voice. So forgive me about that. What I'm going to be doing in today's video, I don't even know if there's a tutorial or not. If there is a tutorial, that's what we're going to do in today's video. I might mess around a little bit. I did see this already. I did see the intro because I, I believe it's, uh, you know, part of the trailer. So I don't need to see it. Oh, shit. Injustice, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition with all the DLC and all the content available. So let's press X here. Like I said, this is the first time ever booting up the game. Really fucking excited. Some characters are still downloading? What? How's that possible? Uh, as soon as they finish downloading? Okay, I guess. I mean, I installed the game, so... Um, let's see. No, I don't want to create a WB thing right now. I don't care about the Flash 52. Um, okay, okay. Look at Wonder Woman. All right, um, settings, controllers. Check out the controllers. Light, medium. Okay, so one, two, pretty much. Hard. What? There's no kicks? I guess it's a three button game, power, four button game. I thought it was gonna be like punch, light punch, medium punch. It might be that way. It might, the, the light, medium punch, it just might be called this. Interactable. Okay, throw with L1, flip stance, same button. I still don't understand why they have uh, the flip stance button. So meter burn is with R2, pretty much the same as MKX. Release check off, alternate controllers off, and there you go, save presets. Okay, uh, let's gameplay setting. Let me actually go to training mode real quick. This is your first time playing single player. Would you like? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't even know what the hell I was doing. Training mode. There you go. Practice. There you go. Tutorial. That's what I'm going to do. But I want to see the, the sound real quick. Oh, my God. Look at look at all these characters. Look at all these sick. Oh, my God. The Just Scorpion. Yes. I'm definitely going to be using him. Uh, where's my boy at? Here we go. Oh, man. Superman, boys. How do I pick a costume? Press start. Alternate skin, square. Damn, look at all these costumes. Can I, like, can I see how they look before uh, he... I can't see how they look. Cyborg, Superman, Man of Steel. Superman. Oh, that sucks. I can't, like, demo them, like, in Mortal Kombat X. All right, let's just go with the regular Injustice Superman. one. And let's have him go up against... Where is... The Bitman. There he is. All right, let's keep him. Batman v Superman. Uh, let's go to Gotham. And let's check out the sound quality first before I start doing anything. Oh, man, I'm so fucking excited, guys. You have no idea. Feels like a new game to me. Whoa. Look at this. This back dash is pretty good. Tell that from the start. Okay. Let me get my headset real quick. Listen to the game audio. <clears throat> That's how it works around here. Should have done this before, but I wanted to you guys to experience right from the start. All right, so test, 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 test. All right, everything's good. I think the gameplay audio might be a little bit low, but that's fine. Uh, let's go. I'm not even going to look at anything. Let's go back to main menu and let's go to the tutorial and see how you play this fucking game. 
Single player. By the way, I will be doing a story mode. What? You can't... You have to do a training... You have to do a tutorial before you could even play the story? Or could you not play the story in this? It's impossible. Alright. Let's do a tutorial. I will be doing the... Um, you know, the, the story mode, by the way. I'm going to be doing a full playthrough. It's going to be really fun. So, basic moves. Let's go, baby. Let's start this tutorial. Hopefully, it teaches me some good stuff on how to play. I thought the Mortal Kombat X tutorial was okay. Well, tutorial, welcome to tutorial mode. Okay. Fundamentals of Injustice. Good. Forward step. Okay. It seems like the... Whoa, Batman has a really slow-ass walk. I guess, you know... Damn, it's forward dash. It's crazy. How does the teabagging work? Let's see. Oh, you can't do it as fast as MKX. What the hell? All right, just jumped. Dash forward. I know there's no run here, so whenever you want to extend combos, you you do uh, you know forward dash, back dash. I wonder if back dashes in this game are invincible, just like they are in MKX. I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, movement training mode complete. Press square, triangle, or X will perform a variety of attacks. Each hero or villain has their own unique attacks. Wow, I did not know that. Okay, so there's that. Okay, that's a punch. Okay, there you go. That's a kick. Oh, so this is like a three-button game? There's What What does square do? Oh, I mean, a circle gives you your, like, power. It's like, uh, a, you know, your V skill in, like, Street Fighter V, for example. I have fucking three flying bats around me. Okay, so you do... Boom. Oh, jump-ins. Duh. There you go. Let's see his jump-ins. Okay, so jumping kick, jumping punch. And in this game, crossovers actually do matter. There you go. So that's his crossover button. This is like Street Fighter where you have to hold back to actually block. You have to block in the opposite direction. There is no block button in this one. Like crossovers don't really matter in Mortal Kombat X because you could just hold the block button. But in Injustice, I know that there's no block button. So crossovers are actually good. All right, sweep attack. Um, boom. Yeah, so this is a three-button game. That's interesting. You only have two punches and a kick. Well, at least for Batman, but, uh, you know, you just have light, medium, and heavy attack. Wow, that's actually new for me. Basic attack dream will complete. Attacks are known as high attacks. High attack can be blocked by holding away. Can you neutral duck him? No, you can't. Oh, what the hell is going on? So... In Injustice, if you're holding down, you're blocking the attack? Really? So you block. It doesn't matter. You don't have to hold down back. You could just hold back and you block. Wow, that's actually really weird. So whenever someone crosses you up, it doesn't even matter. Just hold down. Wow, okay. We'll have to see how that comes into effect whenever I play people. Attack target's feet, known as low attacks. Low attacks can be blocked by holding down. Oh, so you do just... You don't have to hold down back. Like in Street Fighter and in other fighting games, you hold down back, and that is the way you block low attacks. Like, if you hold down in, you know, a lot of other games, you get hit. So in this game, it's just you hold down, and that's it. That's kind of weird to me. I'm, like, used to holding, like, down back to actually block. Okay, overhead attacks. Okay, so, uh, overhead. Uh, X. Ooh, that is a launcher. Let's see. Okay. Wow, that did 13%. Whoa! Superman has overhead, too. Okay. Ah, I have to block them in a row? Okay, there you go. Okay, blocking training complete. Nice. Here's where you've learned to defeat Superman. Well, I don't even know any combos. Uh, use high attack. Use high attack. Low attack. Overhead. What was the overhead again? There you go. Let's see. Overhead. Boom. Ah, you do a move like that. Okay. Sorry, I'm just, like, messing around here. Ah, yes! Four hit combo. I can't believe it. Use jump attack. Okay. There you go. Uh, defeat opponent. 
Oh, uppercuts launching this game too. Can you follow up after it? Down two boys. <laughs> Training section complete. Basic moves. Next section, please. Okay, additional attacks can be performed by holding a direction while pressing an attack button. Okay. Back triangle. Looks like a mid. Okay. See how much range they have. Damn, that has a pretty good range. Damn. Forward two has crazy range. Okay. Well, I call it forward two. I don't know. Forward medium, I guess. Medium punch. Uh, there you go. Oh, that's a low combo starter. Direction attack training mode complete. Strike an opponent after they been launched into the air is known as a juggle. Okay. So, boom, boom. Oh, wait. Triangle. Ah, there you go. Wonder if you could dash up after it. No. Can you like dash cancel the move? No, can't. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like figuring out. Yeah, it looks like you can't. Looks like you have to do stuff like that. There you go. I'm pretty sure if you EX that it gets you get like a capture state. Let's see. Whoops. The fuck was that? Ah, that was a combo right there. Boom, boom. Okay, I'm trying to do this real quick. Ah, must have done it wrong. Ah, I'm trying to EX it. Oh, I guess you can't EX it. Maybe... Ah, all right. Forget it. Let's just do this real quick. Boom, boom. Whoa. Wall bounces? You have wall bounces in this game? That's sick. Let's see that again. Does it matter if you hold it? Can you hold it? Oh, you can hold it. Maybe you get more damage if you hold it. Seems like the juggle's the same. So, forward X, down triangle. Oh, that's the launcher. Haha, -ha, double juggle. 15% off two hits. Connect with back X. While near transition area will activate a level transition. Execute two level transitions for a... Okay, tour of the back cave. Huh. Ah, so you don't even need to hold it. You could just press back and X. So these are the stage transitions that a lot of people... Um, you know, we're asking me if I want them to return. I had no comment because, damn, look at the surroundings of this, man. I cannot wait for Injustice 2. Holy shit. If it looks good right now, just imagine how Injustice 2 is going to look. It's going to be amazing. Hey, Superman. Hey, turn around, man. The camera's this way. Okay, let's go for another one. Damn, he's beating his ass. That is sick. I wonder what the benefit is, like, of either doing a trans... I wonder if you, you could probably do a mid-combo. Let's see. Uh, let's do something like that. I'm pretty sure you could do the mid-combos. Maybe uppercut is not the right one. Oh, there you go. You, you definitely can. All right, so let's just uh, boom, boom, boom. That is a bread and butter combo, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. Special cam. Oh, you could do it up. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. Ah, launcher. It looks like it's a low launcher, too. Shit. It goes like this, right? Okay, so go something like this. Damn it. Timing is, uh, you know, definitely different here. Oh, that hits him. Oh, okay, hits him away. What's this? Ah. Let's retry real quick. Just to... Okay. Just want to see this. Ah! It feels so weird. <laughs> 
Do you special cancel it? Okay. Let's see if I get this. Wait, why am I being up on Superman? I want her to be Superman, man. What the hell? This is not fair. Ah, there you go. Okay. All right, let's finish this off real quick. Let's see, jump in, crossover, boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oops. There you go. Okay. There we go. All right, next up. Uh, take an attack block. Each fighter has a forward throw and a back throw at their disposal. Okay. How do you do throws? Uh, same way, right? Yeah, same way as uh, MKX. So pretty much the button configuration is the same as an MKX as far as the uh, the top buttons, like flip stance like this, interactables, and uh, you know EX moves. Get down. Get down here. Oh, and you can do it like that, too. I wonder how you tech throws in this game. Oh, we'll find out, I guess, right now. Breaking your throws performed by reacting to your opponent's throw attempt with a throw of your own. Oh, so you just you just do the throw butt. Okay. Get off me, bitch. Wow, that's a lot easier than guessing on the throws in MKX. Way easier. Um, throw training completes. Next up. Each character has an arsenal of special moves that are executed by a specific combination of directional inputs. Okay. Back forward triangle. Batarangs. Can you EX it? I'm trying to do EX Batarangs. Maybe I can't do them. Damn, look how look how big the stages are here compared to how they are in MKX. MKX, the max range that they go is like this. Right here, I can definitely see how zoning, um, you know, is really strong in this game. Because I, I have seen footage of Injustice, I just never played it. Grapple, nice. Sidekick, boom. Ooh, that's low, okay. Special moves are in a uh, character, all offense. Batman has a cape parry to counter Superman's attack. Well, he has a parry? Whoops. Oh, it's like this. There you go. I've never, ever, ever seen anyone use a cape parry before in the footage that I've seen of this game. Must suck. Okay, there you go. Special training completes. Mm. Okay, so same as MKX. The more special moves you do, uh, the more your meter builds. Hmm, that thing said to hold down. Like, let me see. I don't know. Yeah, I see. I know it's building meter. Pressing R2 just after executing special move will result in a Oh, I didn't have meter. That's why I couldn't do any EX moves. Oh, no wonder. So Oh, this one is like Oh, there you go. See what I mean? I I knew it. I knew it. I just didn't have any meter. I knew that was like a capture state move. Oh, so you can meter burn it after and before? No, you meter burn them afterwards. That's an explosion. You can't meter burn his attacks at least at the start. Okay. Yeah, so you meter burn stuff after. That's interesting. Super move. This is like their x ray. So this requires all your meter. There you go. So this is like the X-ray of the game. I know Super. I've seen Superman's before. Super. Oh my God, that looks so sick. I know Superman has a fucking amazing one where he flies um, into uh, you know into space and stuff. Looks really sick. Okay. Form special move. Connect me with a normal attack. Results in a special move combo. There we go. Nice. Okay. Ah, interesting. I wonder if you could capture him after that for to extend your combo. Or if it's just like a get down move. Okay, next section. 
Every character has a unique ability executed by pressing the circle button. This is known as a character power. So this is like uh, like a V skill from, let's see, hold down. Ah, you just stay in place though. What the hell's the purpose of that? Oh, there you go. Does that waste your whole power though? Doesn't seem worth it. Oh, you fire the bats that way. It allows them a greater strength for a short period of time. All his attacks will inflict more damage while active. Okay. There you go. And using his power. And do the same one. It did 9% before. Now it did 13%. Okay. Nice. Clash offers the player a way to escape. There's like a breaker system from MKX. Okay. Defender has a chance to regain some health while the attacker has a chance to inflict damage and clash. Initiated once per match. Oh, so it's not even once per round. It's like once per, per entire match per three rounds if it goes that way. Okay, after revealing your second health bar. Flash is right trigger and forward. Okay. I mean, uh, R2 and forward. There you go. Okay, during the time wagering phase, each player has the option to secretly wager an amount. Superman against their opponent, choose the amount. Okay, so if, if I press all my buttons, and if I have like all my meter and press all my buttons, I get my health back. The defender wins the clash. They will gain the amount of health determined by the difference of how much meter was wagered. Okay, so how much did he wager? He didn't wager anything, so I got all my health back. All the, like, the three bar is worth of... Okay. Now, I don't have anything now. So if he wages his two bars, he inflicts 20% on me? 15%. As they will see the amount of damage determined by a difference of how much attack. Okay, so it looks like he wasted one bar, or was a was those two? I don't know. I have to get used to it more. Here it contains interactables. Okay, I know about interactables. I know that you cannot block interactables in this game. I know you have to take the the damage. Oh, those are bombs you could throw? Oh, you could throw them. Kick your opponent into... Uh, wait a minute. What the hell was that? Whoa! He has the ability to float in midair. Like, float? That's pretty sick. <laughs> um. Oh, there you go. I was confused. I saw the big ass circle. I'm like, what? Um, fire the Batmobile rockets. Damn, that is sick, man. And I know you cannot block those, like I mentioned before. Just as you block an attack prey to execute a block escape, this will grant you some breathing room at the expense of one section of super meter. So there's block breakers in this game? I didn't even know. Oh, so it's like push blocking. During the attack, strength combo, you could perform a bounce. Cancel for the cost of two sections of your meter. Uh, during the attack, you can perform a bounce cancel. Let's see, two different types of bounce cancel. Let's see. Um. Oh, there you go. So these are so these are ways that characters could perform bounces without having an actual like EX move that bounces you. I see. Performing a special move immediately after blocking an attack will result in a reversal attack. Okay. So this is the push blocking. I was wondering how you push blocked. So when you're being attacked, you just uh, you press the. Uh... Okay. 
think that was it. Attack me, bitch. There you go, reversal. Mm, wake up attacks. There you go. Um, execute a tech roll. Is it the same as other games? Just press one button? Okay, it's just one. You have earned a trophy. Advance move tutorial complete. Use the knowledge you have gained to defeat any hero and villain who stands in your way. Woo! We did it, guys. Is that it? Is that the tutorial for Injustice? That is what I'm talking about. All right, I can play the story mode now. I can't believe it. All right, guys. So, I think that is going to be the first Injustice video that I've uploaded. And uh, we're going to call it quits here because it is almost 30 minutes long. I think the next video will be me going into the lab with Superman just to try to learn some stuff. Maybe like an extended in the lab because I have no clue how to like really connect uh, combos or because I'm used to like run cancel. Oh my God, that looks sick. I'm used to run canceling in, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat X, stuff like that. But there is no run canceling. It's just dashing here. So I'm really excited to start testing out these characters, see their moves. I really hope here. Actually, let's let's go check it out. Uh, training practice mode. Let's go check out to see if the uh, frame data is actually in the training mode already. Uh, new 52 man of steel cyborg Superman. Let's go with that. Um, let's check out the injustice scorpion costume. Go to a nice bright stage. Damn, all these stages look dark as hell. Hall of Justice. I want to see if the frame data is actually in the game or not. If it is, it's going to be very helpful for whenever I play versus people. Oh my god. Cyborg Superman. With the black and red. Looks really sick. And of course, come on. The Injustice Scorpion costume. Um, move list. Ah, there you go. Start of frames, 8 frames, hit advantage, 18, recovery frame, 17, block advantage, minus 2. NRS, I love you. You are a beautiful, beautiful game developing company. You provide us with the knowledge of frame data right here, right in the move list. Oh, my God. You have to love NetherRealm for doing that. And because uh, frame data is so important. And we have it right at our disposal. So that's awesome. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited for some Injustice content. I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading Injustice because uh, I actually want to learn the game a little bit before I start playing versus people. And also, I, I definitely do want to do a story mode playthrough of it, though. I want to catch up on the story of Injustice. I know the comic books is where it's at. You know, that's where, like, the real Injustice and, you know, gory storyline happens. Um, but I definitely want to make some videos on the this, you know, video game portion of the Injustice story mode because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So that is going to be it for my first ever Injustice, God's Among Us video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.